Imagine you are climbing a mountain. You are reaching where you always wanted to reach. And then suddenly, there is an avalanche. Pushing you into a deep, dark, endless tunnel. That's how I felt when I was diagnosed with TB. I'm Trupti Chivkula and this is my story. I was 25 when I was diagnosed with TB for the first time. I did not know it was TB in the beginning. The diagnosis took a very long time. TB is an infectious disease that is caused by a organism called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. What makes it exceptionally virulent is that it is transmitted through the air. TB actually has killed more human beings than any other infectious disease. And I think the important points to note is that accurate diagnosis has the potential to be a cornerstone in TB control. TB is like an escalator, starting with simple drug-sensitive TB, which anyone can treat within six months. But if it's not treated appropriately, you amplify the resistance from sensitive TB to MDR TB. I was given a treatment which did not suit my body, to which I responded in a horrible manner. I had major muscle inflammation. That was extremely painful. Bad treatment only served to partially suppress the germs. And then TB comes back with a bang, as it always does. And it recurred and resurfaced a few years later. She came back with a more advanced stage of drug-resistant TB. And that's when I first saw her. The lab diagnosis of TB is extremely important to tell us that indeed this patient is either MDR, that is multi-drug resistant, or he's even worse, that is XDR, that is extensively drug resistant TB. I think early screening tests with cartridge-based nucleic amplification technology are the way to go. The turnaround time for molecular tests cannot even be compared to culture. It's much faster. Within six hours often, I can get a report in hand that's nearly point of care, that kind of speed, telling me that my patient suffers from drug-resistant TB. The old generation of tests, the culture tests, took at least six to eight weeks before you got a positive culture and then a sensitivity report in hand. So that's a huge advance for the treating physician. When I was diagnosed with TB, my partner with whom I was going to get married to backed out. It's a very bad social stigma that uh, one has to face. And that just triggered this urge in me to shout it out to the world that yes, I have TB. I started posting everything on social media. I shared my life, I, sh I got to know so many stories and somewhere I'm talking on behalf of all of those people. TB carries so much stigma in our society, sadly. People with TB are shunned as people with infectious diseases used to be shunned centuries ago because people's mindsets have stayed stuck. I think awareness is, is key. Remember that a patient transmits TB. It has far-reaching implications on the society as well. Patient doesn't need to be ashamed that he has TB because TB is curable. We have enough happy stories to tell you. There's a CBNAT that we've just finished a study on, which actually detects XDR-TB. So this particular test is well poised to be a reflex test from a patient who turns out to be MTB positive. Trupti's medical journey, like that of any patient with MDR-TB, involved a mountain, uh, so to speak, that they had to climb. And today's a happy day because she's finally declared cured of her drug-resistant TB. She is now a healthy, active member of society. I've learned finding hope in the most difficult situation. This is what life is.